How many times have you wanted to do something and you felt, I can't do it because I need to do something for the children, I need to do something for work, there are other things I need to be doing. How many times have you felt, do you know what, if I could just have a permission slip that gave me permission to be who I want to be, to do all the things I want to do, to try the things that I've never tried before and do it without sacrificing time with my children, productivity at work. How amazing would it be to have that permission slip? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to share with you the permission slip technique that I use for myself and also all of the incredible mamas just like you that I teach and support that gives you that permission slip. You get to choose what you write on it. You get to choose the things that you give permission to yourself to do. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. If you are watching this video as part of the free 14 day self-care made simple challenge, welcome to day three. So let's for a second just talk about what it means to give yourself permission to, the, to do the things that you wanna do. This is really important to do because as mums, we tend to fall lower and lower and lower down that priority list. You've got being a parent, partner, work, business, friend, colleague, employee, employer, business owner, all of the things. And so seeing ourselves as a priority to do the things that we wanna do, to try the new things that we've never tried before and do it while also balancing everything else is so important and this permission slip is really gonna help give you the confidence to do those things. I am not giving you the permission to do these things. That is the biggest disclaimer that I can ever give you. I am not here to give you that permission and I don't actually seek that permission from anybody else. The things that I wanna do, the person that I wanna be, the person that I am being and the way that I'm living my life I give myself that permission and I do that because I used to be the person, maybe you are right now, where I would look outside of myself to get that external validation that it's okay to do those things, to be those things, to try those things and so I don't take anyone's permission, I give myself my own permission and that's what's truly important and that is what you are gonna take away from today. And this will really help with things like clarity, getting clear on what you really want, getting clear on what truly lights you up, the things that you actually enjoy doing. It would also give you the confidence in setting boundaries so that you can do all of these things. It will also give you the confidence to be who you are, to love who you are, to be proud of who you are, and not feel like you have to hide away. You have to be like anybody else because you are your own person. There are so many benefits of this. And once you actually do this exercise and you actually go all in with it, the benefits that you get, the internal benefits that you get, will be immediate. You will be able to feel it you'll feel so confident, you will feel so proud of yourself, you will really start to see yourself for the amazing, incredible woman you are. Yes, you are an incredible mum, but you are an incredible woman too. In your journal that you would have received, there is a section specifically talking about permission slip, and I've started putting it together for you so that you can fill the spaces if you're not sure how to start, but there is half a page underneath that that is basically there for you. If you are like, I know exactly what I wanna write there, then you go ahead and write that. And the way that I always teach this to start off with is saying something like, my name is your name, not mama, your name is, and I give myself permission to, and you write whatever comes to you. Don't overthink it. This is an exercise that you do not even need to think about it because do you know why? All of the answers are in here. If you think about what you love doing, if you think about what you want to be so proud of yourself for doing but maybe you're not for whatever reason, if you think about all of the things that you love, you enjoy, all the things you wish you were doing, 
all of the ways that you wish you could be maybe more confident, more strong in your boundaries, you, inside of you, you will know exactly what needs to go on this permission slip. So to start off with, especially if you're feeling a bit reluctant because maybe the answers aren't coming to you, maybe you're feeling a bit stuck, I really just want you to take a moment and just shut your eyes, take a few deep breaths and really go into your heart and your stomach. Really go there and think about if this was an ideal day, if this was my ideal picture of how I would live my day every day, what would I want to be doing? If I was having the most fun moments in my life, what are those moments? What would I be doing? If I was doing something that enabled me to feel the most proud of myself that I've ever felt before, what are those things? What are those situations? Really think about what you love to do, what lights you up, what makes you feel your best, what makes you feel your most confident, because those are the things that you're currently not giving yourself permission to. This isn't an activity where you need to overthink it. You don't need to challenge what comes up. You don't need to ask yourself, how am I going to do it? How am I going to get there? How will I do this? that will come for today. It's really about taking control. It's about taking control of your life. It's about dictating how you wanna feel. It's about showing off the person that you are and stepping into her each and every single day. And do you know what? Doing it with complete confidence because you are proud of the person that you are today. It's about dictating how you wanna start your day. On day two, we talked about the ideal morning and this takes that a step further and what i would love for you to do is to record a video reading out your permission slip reading out that permission statement that you've just done post it in the group tag me and i can't wait to celebrate i can't wait to celebrate you for doing it for taking control for dictating in this moment you know what i'm gonna be me and i'm gonna be so proud of myself i'm not gonna hide away anymore I'm not going to stop being the person that I am. I am going to be me. And if people don't like it, then that's up to them. And I can't wait to support you in making that your current reality because you don't need to wait for it. You don't have to wait to feel more confident. You don't have to wait to do all of these things. You can do it now and this is just the beginning. If you're watching this and you have no idea what the self-care made simple experience is and you are like, I don't know what this group you're talking about is, but I know I wanna be in there. Well, the experience itself is currently closed, but I have put a link to the waitlist in the description below so that you can sign up and get an email notification telling you when the next experience is going to be open. I can't wait to support you on this journey. Let me know what comes up. I will see you in the Facebook group and have an amazing day.